Hey guys, Pleasure Down VXP Realty, part of the Johnson Group out here in Port Wentworth, Georgia, in Rice Hope specifically. And today I'm gonna be going over all the active homes on the market, active contingents, under contract, and sold in the past 30 days. And if you get any value from this video, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family that might want to move here. There are 50 or 63 homes on the market in our neighborhood. This is plenty of opportunity for your friends and family to move in here. Dad, if you're listening, tons of homes you wanna move in here. And if you're a neighbor, please share this video with the public because if you wanna help your neighbors sell their homes, like I said, I'm specifically honing in on, a five, on the five that are resale homes and I'm gonna talk about every single one of them. So the more exposure these homes get on the market, the better off your neighbors are, so please, Share this video with your family and friends so that they can spread the vid, spread the word and get these homes sold in our community. But first, before we do that, I want to say thank you to Will and Maggie for putting on a great poker tournament. Um, we're, they're just going to be doing another one. Watch the Facebook page. It was so much fun. We had like 11 people come out and it was great. Uh, Maggie and Will were great hosts. It was fantastic. And then we did the fireworks on uh, Independence Day. So if you want a vibrant community that gets together and hangs out, Rice Hope is starting to be that. So um, I love it. So share this video if you can. All right. So I'm just going to get into the stats. So now we're in the uh, map of the neighborhood, as you can see right here. And we got, uh, like I said before, we got five new resales. You're going to see four here, but here's the fifth. We're going to be going through, I mean, focusing on the resale homes. I filtered out all the um, new construction homes because, I mean, there's a ton of, do you want any, there's 58 new construction homes. If you guys have any questions about this, give me a call. 9 with 2 6 5 7 3 5 4 4 definitely help you out. But let's just look at the resale homes. Now, like I said before, if you're a neighbor, send this video out because we're going to show all the homes in our neighborhood that's resale, and they're fantastic. I'm going to start with Parkside, which is great. And I love this house. I walk by this house all the time with my dog. Um, beautiful home, beautiful home. And I love it when it's uh, at night. Um, it's fantastic. This is 11 Parkside Boulevard. This is a four bedrooms, four and a half bath home with 3,239 square feet offered at $545,000. Great home. And this is listed by Austin Hill Realty, Jennifer Crumpton. So here we go. Let's go through it real quick. Like I said, these porches are great. And I love that they put like a little gate right there for the dog. So if you're sitting out on the porch, you want your dog to roam around on the porch. Fantastic. Can't get out. Like I said, at night, you see these lights right here. It's lit up really, really beautiful. So I love the way it looks from the outside and actually inside. I love this porch. You can have a whole couch set. Look, they got dining dining area right there. So in the cool uh, fall months, you can have dinner right onto the porch. Fantastic. There's your dining room for inside when it's hot as heck like it is right now. <laughs> um, but here's the living room. As you can see, it goes into the, it kind of open to, it's an open concept. So you can see, you know, from the kitchen, the dining room to the living room. So it's great. I love this fireplace right here. All right, I like the details it got in this fireplace. It's fantastic. All right, the living room, foyer, kitchen's great. Double oven, as you can see right there, it's fantastic. Stainless steel appliances. I think I showed this one the last time I was out, you know, I was doing the, the statistics. So um, this is great, fantastic. Pendant lighting, love the curves. I love the pillar. It's nice, very good. Granite countertops, love that. All right, there's half bath. There is the primary bedroom, which I love that. It's nice size, you can see. Fit all the furniture you could possibly want with plenty of space. Going into the, the uh, primary bathroom, like that. Dude, wait a minute, hold on a second. Hmm. I'm wondering. No, it doesn't. Okay. Here's a uh, dual vanity, uh, hard surface. Not sure what that is. Separate shower, separate tub. I love that. Glassed in. Um, that's another room. Another room. This is a carriage house, so you can, like, um, this is kind of like my house. My office is actually, this is where I'm actually filming from, is up here. Um, great space. I've got a bathroom, you know what I'm saying? It's a large room. Um, they haven't rented out right now, so uh, you could do the same. If you wanted to, you know, you don't need the extra space above the garage. You can rent it out, Airbnb it, whatever you want to do. You could definitely do that here. All right. Let's where it's at. There, right about here is the park. Come down here. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Park is right here. The house is like right there. 
So park here, house there, pool, right below, whatever this is. There it is. Uh, but you know the amenities of this one if you're watching this video, potentially. If you don't, watch my amenities video. I do a whole video on all the amenities we got here. It's fantastic. All right, cool. So that's 11 Parkside Boulevard. Let's go to the next one on Parkside. This is 227 Crab Apple Circle. Um, this is a three bedrooms, two bath home, 1,581 square feet. Offered at 334 900 The price was just dropped by $5,000 in this one. So cool. And this is listed by Keller Williams, Dwayne Hilliard. All right, cool. All right, this is, uh, hold on a second. Let me see something. The price per square foot is high in this one, 211 Okay, there's the front. This is, how old is this? 2021, so this is three years old. Okay, two car garage front, tray ceilings as you can see in the living room. Mm -hmm. Opens up to the uh, kitchen as you can see, here's their dining area right there. Okay, I think yeah, they put their dining area catty corner because the bar is kind of catty corner too. It kind of gives it a different feel from other homes in the neighborhood. Okay, yeah, you can see that there's a four bar stool right there in the kitchen. You get tile backsplash, stainless steel appliances. This freezer is huge. All right, and you got yourself a corner pantry, which I love corner pantries. Gas stove, as you can see, it's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Laundry room has a sink, but that's, that's a plus. Okay, there's a bathroom, single vanity. Is that in the primary? No, that's not. Here's a primary. Here's a primary bedroom. Okay, here we go. You can see, tell by tray ceilings, typically. There's the bathroom right there. Okay, the bathroom as you can see. Okay, we're gonna go in there. That's the question. It's a closet. All right, no bathroom, but that's right. Here's the covered porch, screened in porch, which is great, and fenced in yard. So if you have the fur babies, perfect. Okay, and how close it is to the park that's the park right there so that's how close you are to the park awesome and they got a dog park over in the park so um you know even though you got a fence in the yard you want to take your dog over there to socialize with other dogs definitely could do that there i love that i love the screen of course it's great and of course there's a park and all that stuff. okay cool. so that's 227 crab apple circle all right what's next i think someone's on crab apple i actually just went to this open house just went to this open house. Nice, well, well maintained. Great home. This is 209 Crab Apple Circle. This is a four bedroom, three bath home with 2,065 square feet offered at $364,999. It's down. Uh, they dropped the price by $4,000. And that was uh, five days ago. Okay, cool. cool. This is by Ebony. In our neighborhood, Keller Williams. Okay. Mm, blue, I like that. Like I said, I went in here. It's very well maintained. Very well maintained. Um, like the countertops right there. Nice. Stainless steel appliances. Nice. I like these pendant lighting. Opens up to the living room right there, as you can see. And you see a lot of homes nowadays, they put that table right in between the kitchen. And the living room, so they're all kind of bunched together. Oh, oops! Hold up! Hold up. Get back there. Mm -hmm. Okay, because so I want to get to the primary. I like that fan. Look at that. But you see, it's wide open. I mean, it's this. It feels. It feels big in there. Okay, there's a bedroom. That's the primary bedroom right there. I like the higher ceilings. It's great. King size bed, obviously you get a ton of space. I love this thing. We need to get one of these for my, my, uh, my bed. Yeah, that's nice. In the primary bathroom right there, there's a closet. Okay, dual vanity, as you can see. Stay in the shower. Big size closet. I did see the closet, it's, it's huge. And the laundry room actually in this one is surprisingly nice. Like. I wouldn't normally talk about a laundry room, but this one, they, they really decked it out. So it's pretty cool. All right, nar large yard with fenced in. So like I said, once again, fur babies all day, every day. So that was 209 Crab Apple. How was this? Two, 176. So the last one was 211. This was 176 per square foot. So 
Something to think about. Something to think about. All right, let's go to these ones over on Lakeside. All right, which one's this one? Oh, yeah. 237 Cold Creek Loop. All right, this one's a four bedrooms, two bath home, 1774 square feet, offered at $365,000. This is a great home. I did a video of it. I sold one out in Park West. I have the video I'm going to put at the end so you can watch if you want to watch a full walkthrough of this home. But we're going to go through the pictures. They actually just dropped the price by $14,000 four days ago. $14,000 drop. And this was $379.99. Mmm. This is Trisha Cook, Compass, Georgia. It's a listing agent. Let's go through these pictures. Mm -mm. Brick front. This is a DR Horton home, by the way. Uh, I like the granite countertops they got on here. It's different than most granite countertops. So that's that's a definite plus. Corner pantry right there. It was wide open. Uh, living room, dining room, kitchen is wide open. They like to hunt. You know? But like I said, you watched the video that I did. Shows you a different way to do it. So, I mean, this is one way to do it heads all over the place and then another way is um the way i'll show you in the video so i mean this is not a wrong way to decorate these houses this is fantastic screen in porch especially in georgia love it like the patio right there that's great yeah nice yep Where's the primary bedroom? i love this kind of house yep primary bedroom right here yep closet yep Yep, there's the other rooms. It's a nice starter home, for sure. For sure. There you go. Alrighty, now, we got one more left. One more resale home left. Where's it at? It's right here. This is also a D.R. Horton home. This is the Macon model. This is a, this is 222 Cold Creek Loop, 3-2. 1,343 square feet, $320,000. Uh, who is the listing agent? This is Isa Orr from Fox Realty. What is this for price per square foot? 238. Okay. All right. There we go. This is going to give you your basic home. I mean, it's going to be your basic home. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch of belt bells and whistles. You do have the granite countertop, that's good. You got the stainless steel appliances, that's great. Okay. But it is open, wide open to the living room right there, as you can see, and then a little dining area right there. Um, leading into your primary bedroom, I believe. Yep. Primary bedroom. There's a bathroom right there. Okay. Dual vanity. Okay, and shower. Nice size closet. There's the bedrooms, bathroom. Okay, backyard, big size, nice. And two car garage, there it is. All right, so that's 222 Cold Creek Loop right there. All right, now we're gonna go to the stats because that's all the resale homes. All the rest of it's gonna be your under contract but as you see here we had uh 12 homes or excuse me 14 homes sold and the past 30 days a lot of those 12 of them were new construction homes so that's why that's not being portrayed in here okay but let's just go through the stats so i'm gonna go through cma real quick so this is the cma for what i just showed you this is filtering out all the new construction homes Okay, so you get a better idea of where you're at in your home value. And once again, I, I keep saying this, and I'm gonna keep saying it so that you understand. This list price per square foot or closed price per square foot is really your closed price per square foot in the sold homes. Right here is really the indicator, but you know, there's only two sold homes that are not re that are not new construction. So that's not really gonna give you a great number. Um, so I just go off the active right now. So you got, these five, these are the, the, the resale homes that are active. The average is 2,000 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, one car garage. Um, average sales price that are, for the active is 385,980 with a list price per square foot of 217. Now we're gonna go to the active contingent. Now active contingent is the ones where there's a contingency. It could be due diligence contingency, could be a finance contingency. 
could be any kind of contingency. That's why they put active contingent. Um, so let's go to the active contingent homes on the market. There are five of them. All right, the average uh, square footage is 2,284. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths with two car garage. Um, average price that was this listed price was 338,940. And listing price per square foot one fifty two ninety one. That is low. That is really low. It's because of this Lakeside Boulevard one. This three thousand square foot house went for three seventy five. So that brought that average way down. And this one, Concrete Loop two, twenty seven hundred square foot home, um, three eighty five. So they're at a one forty one. When you got your average list one is two hundred. That's a big difference, okay? But these are under contract, so they're gonna be sold here pretty soon. It's gonna really tell us what the contract says, because if right now, if it's active contingent or under contract, we really don't know what the buyers offer the sellers. So it could be 385, it could be 400, or it could be 360. We don't know until it closes. So when it closes, obviously watch my channel. I do this every month. You'll see you know, where to clo what it closed at. So here's the sold. Uh, resale homes in the past 30 days. Okay, we had two. Yeah, two. Um, average square footage was 2,246. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms. Um, average, we're going to go to close price. Average close price, 351, 745. Average close price per square foot, 186.42. That's why I'm saying this active contingent number is. Oh, this is the ones that are sold, 186. So if you want a true barometer, use this number, 186.42 right here. This will give you an idea. But as you can see, I just wanted to show you something. This is how long they sat on the market. If you're not aware, 66 days. So that means it was on the market for at least 36 days before they accepted an offer, okay? This one was on the market for um, 25 days before we got an offer. So you gotta understand the buyers are kind of backing down because of interest rates. Now we have good news from the Fed. Interest or the, uh, what do they call it? The inflation numbers look good. So it looked like probably September and it dropped the interest rates again. So there has been some back and forth with that, whether they're gonna do that or not. They do drop the interest rates. Obviously people are gonna wanna buy homes, okay? So if they can drop the interest rates, that's good for the home sellers. But that's more likely September, and then the election is going to have a lot to do with that. All right. And we got two under contract here. So under contract basically means that they've been through all their contingencies. So there's no more contingencies, just waiting to close the home. So that was average was 2,273, four bedrooms, three bath, three and a half bath, excuse me. 355,995 is the average with a list price right, 180, 32. All right, that's a little bit more consistent with your sold, a little bit lower, let's see. All right, so that's those. Now I'm just gonna talk about briefly, all the listing we have briefly. So there is five resale homes, 58 new construction homes on the market, total of 63, okay? Homes that are on the market right now. So you have family, friends that wanna move in here, tons of inventory um, for them to buy, all right? And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the neighborhood. As you can see, they got a boatload under contract, 36 under contract. We got 14, well, what was it? Yeah, 12 new homes sold. Um, actually, one of them was, uh, one of the ones I sold. We had new neighbors, which I love to death. Tony and Lauren are amazing. Um, yeah, but they just moved in, so excited for them. Um, but yeah, so if you got any questions about any homes in this area, if you have any, if you need me to do a CMA for you, I do that all the time. It's not a problem. I love to do it. Uh, just give me a call at 912 657 3544. And I thank you guys for watching. If you're watching this time, I truly love you and I really appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye.